Streaks URM tutorial for beginners. Hello guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you a tutorial of how you can use Streak for customer relationship management and what are what is this platform and how you can use it and what it's going to do for you in your CRM needs. So let's get into the video. So first of all, what you have to do is you have to go and search for streak.com and this is the website of Streak and this is their main page. As you can see, it's a CRM website like you can do customer relationship management on Streak, but along with that, you also have a lot of other options and a lot of the features that you can use like you have project management you have sales report and everything so you can basically get started with streak it's really easy so i'm just going to show you around the platform a little bit here you can see that what is the best thing about streak is that it is integrated into your gmail so you can just install the streak into your gmail and you can handle everything from your inbox it's so easy you don't have to have a separate software you don't have to get a separate you know go to a separate place you just ha can manage everything into your inbox so i'm just going to show you how you can do it this is an option which you can use to install the streak into your gmail i have already installed that so that's why it says installed and go to gmail otherwise it will say install into your gmail or something like that just click on this option and it, it will take you to your gmail it will start the install installation process and after it's installed it will be integrated into your inbox like this here you can see that and this is my main inbox and here is the streak setup so i'm just going to click on this which says sign in with google i'm going to sign in and then i'm going to show you guys the next step okay so the streak is now installed into my gmail and basically i'm signed in with my streak so this is the software here you can see that up here streak basic so just click on that and streak will open up so what you can do is now you are going to see everything right here okay so here you can see that this is the streak home here you can see that you have settings you have manage billing and teams you can have integrations updates refer a friend and everything so i'm using a basic plan right now i'll show you the plans later but let's go on to here and create the first pipeline by clicking on this option you can create the first pipeline the crm sales pipeline so here first of all you are going to see sales so stages of the pipeline is lead contracted pitched demo negotiating closed lost and closed one other than that there are also some uh, fields that you can use like you have date of last email lead source priority industry deal size etc so you can basically select whatever you want i'm just going to see that you can change it if you want to if you want to add any other stage you can just click on this option if you want to change the colors of anything just go on and choose this this one for example i want to use the pink palette and i can do that or i want to use this spooky light palette it looks good like you can basically go on and change that for yourself now here you can see that in these you can change the fields as well if you want to or if you want to add an extra field just go on and do that so what are fields basically information you are tracking for each box that goes through your pipeline and in the stages is stage the steps in your pipeline how things progress from start to finish so these are the two, two things if you want to change it you can so then there are projects in your projects you can see that there is stages as well you can see that new there is a new assigned working completed and postponed these are all the stages for the process of the projects and there are some fields also you have date of last email last email from priority due date estimated time in weeks and budget and then you have email thread count days and stages and notes so you can basically go on and see your projects like this and you can also change the colors for these as well the next thing is you have business development in the business development you also have stages you have lead contracted negotiating approved closed lost closed one on hold so you can basically drag one stage uh, like one step and put it you know and take it up and take it down uh, in the whole process so it is completely up to you then you can just go down and see the fields as well the fields are same for all most all of the things because these are, are all the things that are necessary to ask when you are basically creating a business development a pipeline or stream so uh, you can basically add other fields as well if you think that it is necessary like for example your email address or phone number or something like that we do not have asked such thing but you can just click on this option to click on add field and you can see that free form if you want to add a free form you want to add a date you want to add a check box drop down tag formula in the general activity you can see that these are all the developed fields that are available in the email these are all the developed fields that are available email tracking developed fields and tasks developed fields like task count next task due and calls and meetings developed field for example total meeting duration uh, i don't have that field so i've just added that so after you're done with that you can see the hiring section 
in the hiring you also have stages so this is going to be the hiring pipeline phone screen interview internal discussion offer negotiation hired fast key point and fields are same then you have job search in the job search you also have stages like applied phone screen on-site interview offer receipt etc and when you are done with all of these you can see that these are the fields are the same then you have investor the investor pipeline is this lead met with diligence investment committee term sheet signed and completed and after that passed and tracking then you have fields they are completely the same like except this last valuation series and close date then you have fundraising which is in the same manner then you have orders you have real estate you have support and custom so this is how these are all the templates that are available when you're creating pipeline in streaks so i'm just going on to the sales first of all again and uh, let's say i want to create a stream for sales i'm just going to click on create and here you can see that share for new pipeline is it private or is it shared let's say it's private i'm going to click on this create pipeline and my pipeline will be created for the sales of uh, instreak.com so i'm just going to wait until it loads this is how we can add a pipeline in streak so let's go back to the streak crm for gmail and here i'm going to show you the pricing of the platform let's go on to the pricing and check what uh, is you're going to get for what kind of money so there is one plan that is available for free in that you can get basic crm you can have a mail merge and email tracking then you have a solo plan for 15 dollars per month which also has basic crm mail merge and link tracking along with that there are also going to be some uh, other benefits like the basic crm it only allows 500 users and in in this basic crm it allows 5000 uh, customers so uh, basically you can uh, choose the one accordingly and mail merge it also has 80 800 and mail merge for its free plan is 50 so then you have pro version for 49 dollars per month and it is going to have advanced crm it is going to have mail merge and it also have it will also have shared pipelines and the crm customers are infinite and mail merge is 1500 then you have a pro plus plan for 69 dollars per month and here you have advanced report you have automations and archived users and then there is a plan for enterprise which is for 129 dollar per month and here you will have custom roles data validation and priority support so these are all the plans that you have and you can are basically trying to get streak and you want to compare the plans you can just go come down and you can see in detail what is happening around in all of these plans so you can choose uh, for yourself successfully which one is better for you so you can just see what is available in what plan and what is not and if all the features and depending upon the your features that are required for your business you can choose the plan effectively okay so here you can see that uh, right now i have just created a pipeline now what are these next steps that you need to do in order to get completely started with streak so as you can see that i'm 22 percent of the way there right now so what i can do is i can just click on this option which says populate your pipeline and i'm going to you know go on and go on exploring this is where you access all your pipelines each pipeline represents a workflow such as sales business development at hiring etc so when you are done with that you had to add emails to streak so what you can do is you can open any email don't worry streak does not alter any email data so you can just go on open any email and you can start making and start adding it uh, as your streak for example like this is the email that i'm just going to open right now so click this plus icon right here click the plus button to add this email adding this email adding this email to streak lets you keep the track of it and share it to your team so what you can do is you can just click on this option right here and you can add this to your streak software like just thread and you can all of the emails with what you can do is you can just uh, enter this email in your uh, pipeline or you can enter all of the emails from this address right here so you can just go on and add them onto your platform onto your streak and you can uh, basically whenever you open that they will be sent when uh, something whenever you want so the next step is here you can see that okay so uh, we have added the emails to streak then you have to record all the interactions add details to a box and add contacts to a box so you can just go on and add, and add details select a pipeline this is where you access all your pipelines so you have to select a pipeline then you can add, record all your interactions and you can also add contacts to a box like for example contacts in streak are going to be added to a box so that whenever you want to send someone something you will be able to send that directly through your pipeline in the collaboration you can share and see your team's emails add your team members share your pipeline tag your team members stay accountable and you can also prioritize your day by day member to follow up let nothing fall through the cracks and never miss an important box and then you have your email productivity in which you can track your sent emails send mass personalized emails use save template templated responses a new way of sharing emails and you can also download the streak mobile app connect a web font to pipelines configure report and etc so there are a lot of things that you can do with streak to uh, 
uh, basically get completely known and completely started with the platform it looks very small and it looks like it is as it is on already integrated in gmail but when you go on exploring it is a whole lot of thing in itself so you can just go on and keep on exploring and you can continue with your streak and it, you can use it for your crm it is a very good platform to do so so this was it for today's video guys i hope you found it helpful please give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to software is made easy thank you